Hey everyone, I'm Max, and I'm going to be talking about fast and extensible equality saturation using Egg, a tool we've built. In one slide, what I want you to take away from this talk is that eGraphs and equality saturation are, are really cool techniques that allow you to build rewrite-driven optimizers and equivalence checkers that are really effective. And on top of that, uh, what we contribute in this work is deferred invariant maintenance, which is a technique that makes equality saturation faster by amortizing a lot of the data structure invariant maintenance work that equality saturation has to do. And the second a technique called E-class analyses makes equality saturation more extensible by lifting certain program analyses up to the E-graph level. And we've implemented both of these, and I also want to show you some of the really cool things people are doing with egg. So the take home message is if you want to turn an expression into another expression, you should really consider using something like egg. Term rewriting is, of course, the uh, bread and butter of a lot of things we do in programming languages. Uh, and when you're doing term rewriting, there are some useful rewrites and some less useful rewrites. And which is which is a, is a really hard question to answer. And it's often context dependent or even term dependent. And what a quality saturation has to say about this is you should use all of the rewrites simultaneously all of the time. Uh, now that sounds really expensive, but a quality saturation is a really cool technique that uses the eGraph data structure that allows you to do this effectively. And what we're doing in this work is making that faster and more flexible. So real briefly, a quality saturation is where you take an initial term, you chunk it into a, an eGraph, and you start cranking rewrites. And you apply these rewrites to add more and more equivalent versions of the term of interest. And then finally, from that really large set, you can extract the best using a pre procedure called extraction. And that's going to be an equivalent to your initial term. So let's look at this inner loop a little more. The first thing it's going to do is find a left-hand side pattern, or find an instance of a left-hand side somewhere in the e-graph, and then it's going to stamp out the right-hand side of, the, of that rewrite and add it to the same e-class. And then it has to do some invariant restoration, uh, the principal uh, part of which is restoring congruence. And this is the hot loop of equality saturation. This runs a lot of times, and if you want to make equality saturation faster, you have to do something with this loop. And so that's where deferred invariant maintenance comes in. We've restructured a quality saturation. So instead of doing things one, uh, one at a time, you instead find all patterns simultaneously. And then you can apply all of the matches in a right phase where you allow the data structure invariants to be broken. And then you can restore all of those invariants at once in an amortized way, saving a lot of work. Uh, we evaluated this and it is indeed faster. Here you can see all of these points are above the 1x line, indicating that uh, the egg way is about, uh, ranges from about as fast to up to 300 times faster. So moving on to more flexible, rewriting is uh, really great, of course, uh, but there's more than syntactic rewriting. Uh, sometimes you really want to consider the semantics of what you're working with, and if you want to do an analysis like constant folding or nullability or tensor shape or what have you, it's really nice to be able to interpret the things you're working with. So let's see how we can do constant folding as an E-class analysis. The first thing you do is define a semi-lattice domain. Uh, here the domain D is going to just be option of a number. And then when you add new E nodes, you have to create a value of that, uh, in that analysis domain. So here we're just going to eval if possible. And then you need to define how to merge uh, values from that domain when E-classes merge. And if you do that, then egg will automatically propagate those values and attach them to the e-classes as you add or merge uh, e-classes. And what this allows you to do is lift program analyses up to the e-graph level in a sort of abstract interpretation flavor. Another neat thing you can do is use this to implement conditional and dynamic rewrites. For example, if you have a rewrite like x over x goes to 1, that's not sound unless x isn't equal to 0. So you might want to implement a non-zero analysis so you can prove that this is true before applying the rewrite. This can also express a lot of other eGraph hacks that we found to be necessary uh, in practice that other implementations have baked in in an ad hoc way. So that's egg. It's a real library. It's written in Rust. It's generic over whatever data types you want to bring. It's packaged and documented on the web. And it's really easy to use, and so people are doing some cool stuff with it. So just as some quick examples, uh, here are four projects uh, that we're go, well, we will go into in the longer talk. And they're either running faster or getting better results from using egg. There are a lot of other projects in the work works, and these are all getting better results because they're using some of egg's unique features. So that's egg. Uh, there's our website if you would like to learn more. Thanks for listening.